Signal has been given to fire him up. Blake Alexander. For Prano Auto Service Centers, head contractors and engineers. Currently, 10. Austin Prock was number one when we started. He is currently sixth. It's pretty amazing to me that Bob Tasca, the first car down the racetrack, went to the number one spot at 391. Since then, four other cars ran better than Austin, who were not able to get around Bob. It's a stout run Bob Tasca put down early on, but... In Austin Proc, this team came up as the last pair down in the first session and went 394-5. They missed yarded everybody in that session. Jimmy Proc is not one to come up to the starting line trying to tiptoe around anything. So, but just an opportunity out there to go out there and knock off Bob Tasca. This team's going to be loaded up for it. I think there's an 80 out there. This team's going to be loaded up for it. Blake Alexander's car, that's a car that down there and run in the low 90s as well. Wouldn't surprise anybody. A lot of success on these types of tracks last year, especially. Talking about Jimmy Proc tiptoeing. I think the closest he's got to ballet shoes are waffle stompers. <laughs> you can hear him coming a mile away. Cornwell Quality Tools. Peak Chevrolet. Austin Proc. And the folks at Ponto Auto Service Centers. Head contractors and engineers making it all possible for Blake Alexander. Three point nine oh seven, three hundred thirty-two miles an hour, and Jason Logan will not be on Dancing with the Stars. Austin Proc goes back to the top. He puts Cornwall and Chevrolet number one by a few thousandths of a second. Blake Alexander goes three ninety-five three at three hundred fourteen miles an hour. Put him in the number seven spot. Proc, Tasca, Paul Lee—they're going to be the point getters in this qualifying session. Starting line. Down here with Jimmy Proc back to the top. This is fun. Uh, yeah, you know, we're just, uh, last week I kind of screwed it up over there, and we're just backing up a little bit here and uh, trying to come at it again. Spoke to Jimmy earlier in the week. They actually were planning to go test out at Indianapolis earlier this week. Mother Nature got in the way. So he said he was coming in here. He said it's very, very difficult to try to test and race at the same time, but we got a couple of things we need to get sorted out. Well, like Cinderella said at 11.59, so far so good.